Where do I start in summarising this term? As I sat and reflected on what type of term we have had as a college, to be honest, words escaped me. We started the term recognising our nation's emergency services and volunteers for their efforts in battling the devastating fires we were facing across our country. And we closed the term recognising essential workers in a different sense, but no less important, battling a virus like we haven't seen for a generation, crippling our college, state, country and the world. Firstly, I would like to recognise all students for their efforts during the most difficult circumstances, filled with the consistent distractions from the outside. Students constantly displayed a focus and commitment to their studies while establishing new peer relationships and getting to know their new teachers. Many of students achieved excellent outcomes in a diversity of subject areas. I'm constantly reminded why I love my job and when students show me their work and are filled with pride in what they have completed. I ask you to reflect on your child's face when, you're, when they are glowing due to something they have done well. That's what I get on a daily basis. When students are supported equally from home and school, they are capable of achievements far beyond what they thought possible by themselves. This leads me to the amazing staff that I have the privilege to work beside every day. Our college is filled with mad teachers. This stands for teachers that are committed to making a difference in the lives of the students they teach, your children. I constantly observe the amazing student-teacher relationships that are being formed every day. These positive relationships are the nucleus in students feeling supported in their learning. I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank all staff for their personal support, but more importantly, for the care and dedication you show your students during this extremely challenging term. With school holidays starting prematurely this week, our term finished with significant uncertainty, leading into term two. I'm sure you have uh, all many questions around what does next term look like. Unfortunately, I don't have the answers that can provide a clarity at this stage, but I will continue to keep everyone informed as I am over the holiday period. What I can do is reassure you on our ability to support and guide your child's ongoing learning remotely if required to do so. Teachers have been working tirelessly to develop, document and prepare for an online curriculum that can meet the needs of our students. I recognise that we will need to continue to reflect and learn as educators to refine our practices to guide students' learning if this learning style is prolonged. I ask for your support and patience during this time as we explore uncharted waters together. I want to reinforce that student learning will require students' full commitment to their studies if we go to remote learning. This model of learning will require parent support to help develop and implement constant learning patterns for your children at home. But we are in this together and we'll all support each other along this journey. I wish all students, parents, guardians and staff a safe and healthy holiday period. My thoughts and prayers are with you all during this difficult time. God bless.